Hey radio enthusiasts, today we're diving deep into the world of analog handheld ham radios. Whether you're a seasoned operator or someone just dipping your toes into the world of ham radio, you're in the right place. I've put in the research and I'm bringing you my top picks for the best analog handheld ham radios. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. So let's get started. Price information and all ham radios mentioned in the video are available in the description. Number 3. Baofeng UVS9 Plus best budget analog handheld ham radio. Baofeng UVS9 Plus is our top choice for the brand's best analog ham radio. Conventionally, this spot would belong to the Baofeng UV5R or its variants like the BF F8 HP. However, the company has been making attempts to go beyond the UV5R in this space, so we have the UVS9 Plus, which is an excellent budget ham radio in its own right. At first glance, it is clear that the Baofeng UVS9 Plus has a more refined appearance as compared to the UV5R. Baofeng UVS9 Plus is slightly larger and supports charging via a desktop charger or a USB charger. It also gets a more advanced chipset. It runs off a 2200 mAh lithium-ion battery as compared to an 1800 mAh battery that powers the UV5R 8W. Though both of these radios have a maximum output power of 8 watts, the UVS9 Plus gets more battery. The battery and charging for the UVS9 Plus are worth talking about in a bit more detail. While conventional handheld radios have so far stayed on the line of requiring a desktop charger, Baofeng UVS9 Plus adds the option of using a USB charger. Having two charging methods is important. The USB charger is very convenient and almost ubiquitous in the modern world. The spot for the charger's pin is placed right above the battery in the radio's back. Baofeng has made this battery removable, so it's possible to use multiple batteries with relative ease. On the downside, the new 2200 mAh battery can be a bit more difficult to find, though its availability has significantly improved. Interestingly, the included manual is different from what I'd have called classic Baofeng. The manual is well written, can be understood, and is useful. It is not perfect, but it is a huge improvement over how Baofeng manuals used to look. It also includes tables for the 50 CTCSS and 104 DCS codecs for the radio. One thing that hasn't changed is the antenna. Baofeng is still using a very basic antenna. If you want a quick performance boost for this radio, get a new antenna. The radio uses a classic two-pin port for the headset. The included headset with the package is fairly basic and it might be worth purchasing a different one. Some notable features and aspects of the radio are that it's programmable via chirp and receive broadcast FM and includes an LED flashlight and emergency alarm. The dual band radio can transmit with RF power at 1, 4, or 8 watts. Occasionally, there is confusion believing that this is a tri band radio. However, the UVS9 tri band is a different model. As for the RF power output, the radio is only somewhat consistent and the actual output can depend on individual units. For example, some units might offer the max RF output at 5 watts instead of 8 watts, while others could output 10 watts. A few manage to stay at 8 watts. To be fair, problems like these can be expected from super cheap radios like this one. Overall, Baofeng UVS9 Plus is a good analog handheld ham radio. Though price remains its most attractive feature, the device has evolved to be a decent HT. Before moving to the next radio, it would really help us continue making more videos if you support us by just hitting the like button and subscribe, or even with a comment so that we know if you like it or if there's something we can do to improve next time. I promise it costs nothing, just a few seconds. So let's move to the next analog handheld ham radio. Number 2. ICOM ICT-10 Best Premium Analog Handheld Ham Radio Good looks, solid build, and great features make the ICOM ICT-10 dual band radio our top premium pick for analog handhelds. As soon as you hold the radio, it becomes evident that the casing is impressive and worthy of the radio's IP67 rating. This implies the radio is dustproof and waterproof when submerged up to a depth of 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. There's also some shockproofing here, which makes this a great choice for the outdoors. As we talk of the looks and design, it's only natural to think of the display here, and that's the tiny screen sandwiched between the speaker and the keypad. Now, the tiny screen itself wouldn't be a problem, as it is quite common in this category. However, ICOM somehow decided to use a low resolution that shows only 8 characters and the alphabet casing can get mixed up. Since it can't handle uppercase characters very well, the menus and information display can feel weird. Well, not terrible aspect, it is annoying, especially for a premium radio. But there is redemption in the speaker. The big 1500 milliwatt speaker on the radio is loud, clear, and offers pretty good sound quality. This might indeed be the best speaker in this category. 
The ICT-10 continues with the high-quality features with options like a channel control knob, a very satisfying to move volume and power control knob, and an easily managed keypad. It draws power from a BP-280 battery, 7.4 volts and 2200 mAh, which can work up to 11 hours on a full charge. The performance is slightly above average for handheld transceivers. If desired, you can also hook it directly to DC power, though that will require an additional adapter AD149H. Other features include easy programming, 208 memory channels, tone scan, priority, and skip functions. Overall, this is a great radio with excellent features and an impressive build. Number 1. Yaesu FT65R – Our Top Choice The Yaesu FT65R is a less expensive version of the highly rated FT60. It is a dual band radio which comes with weather alert and FM radio. Solid, comfortable handset of reasonable quality with an IP54 rating, meaning it is relatively robust outdoors. The PTT button sticks out at a slight angle, which may feel awkward to some but great to others, so this design feature comes down to personal preference. It has a 1 watt speaker with good audio quality and a clear, audible microphone. You can extend the operating time by a few hours by upgrading the rechargeable 1950 mAh lithium ion battery to a 2500 mAh battery. The transceiver is computer and keypad programmable, but the programming cable isn't included and has to be bought separately. However, once obtained, the handset can be programmed with a range of software. It comes with a basic but user-friendly manual, though you have to download the more comprehensive programming instructions. Menu navigation using the keypad is relatively straightforward and intuitive, and the keypad includes four programmable keys to quickly access to your most used settings, which is fairly unique among the ham radio handsets reviewed. The backlit LED screen seems basic with a default display setting showing a single VFO in battery status, but it can be configured to a dual band display. It has a standard FVO programmable memories, as well as weather scans, and you can set it to auto turn off after a set period of time to preserve the battery. It comes with a stout antenna, which is interchangeable. If you're tired of belt clips that snap or detach the battery from the handset, the transceiver comes with a sturdier belt clip design that many other models and the clip attaches to the body of the handset rather than a more standard attachment to the battery. Overall, the functionality, reliability, and quality compared to other models make it highly suited as a first ham radio for a ham radio operator starting out, as well as intuitive, easy-to-handle handset for the more experienced. This dual band ham radio comes with VFO mode or you can scan by pre-programmed memory. Menu navigation and keypad programming is relatively intuitive and the keypad includes four programmable keys for quick recall. Sturdy and compact, it is well suited to outdoors, especially with power saving features and the option to upgrade the battery. Overall, if you're looking for the best value analog handheld ham radio, you cannot go wrong with the Yaesu FT65R.